talk two was about the light source, which is placed here, this X, which is located three centimeters. I've stretched this a little bit so it becomes a bit clearer. So this is three centimeters in front of a diaphragm, which has been opened two centimeters wide. So I've just drawn in a straight line as a bit of reference. So that's supposed to be one centimeter here and here, giving us two. And that's going to be the three centimeters from here. The whole thing is located um, nine centimeters, the lap nine centimeters away from uh, the sample size. That's what we've got sketched down here, as in the little sketch on your piece of paper uh, from the uh, seminar sheet as well. So if I now look at the lamp being three centimeters, the, uh, the diaphragm six centimeters, so we've got nine centimeters in front of the slide. If I now start constructing my rays, these rays will be emitted in all directions from my lamp, including this one, for example, which hits the solid barrier and is absorbed, stops, and also one that just travels through here. Same travels here, through to here. There's also one in between here that will completely go through. So this ray is the first one, if you go around, that just manages to not hit any barrier and passes through and hits my sample like that. All this area is now going to be illuminated by light beams traveling through the opening. And in this case, if you look at how large this is, if you've constructed it, you'll see this whole area is going to be illuminated and that's roughly six centimeters. So three centimeters up, three centimeters down. Much larger than the actual opening, which was only one centimeter up, one centimeter down. So the opening is two centimeters wide. The whole thing that's going to be illuminated is actually much larger, is three times larger, six centimeters larger. 